Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for joining me on this one. So in this video, I just want to touch on a scholarship program that I found and this scholarship program only applies to those in the United Kingdom and uh, of course those that meet the requirements. Uh, I'll be talking about the requirements shortly, but the importance of this is for you to be able to demonstrate that you are actually passionate about your desire to pursue a career in aviation. So let me explain better. So when you're applying to all the scholarships uh, or sponsored programs out there, one of the things they want to establish is that you have passion or you're passionate about aviation. And one of the biggest red flags that the scholarship uh, programs look for is that if you do not have any aviation experience or any aviation education uh, that is related to aviation, then it's a big red flag as to if you truly are passionate about this career or about this field, then why haven't you done something about it? There are so many programs out there. There are so many educational clubs. There are so many aviation organizations that you can join. So why haven't you joined? And that's why I'm bringing this scholarship program to you. This is a gliding course scholarship. It's a short course. It's, it's, it's sponsored and it's free, as you mean you qualify. So first thing is, this is offered through the Honorable Company of Air Pilots. That's the name of the uh, organization. Uh, it's a gliding course scholarship. It closes, it's open right now. It closes on uh, 6th of February, 2024, 12 noon. There'll be interviews in London uh, between 17th and 18th of April, 2024. This scholarship is aimed at those with little or no flying experience. And this is why I'm bringing this to your attention. Now, in order to apply, it's actually very straightforward. You have to print, which I'm looking at the document right in front of me on my iPad right here. You have to literally fill out the application form and mail it to them. When you email it to them, they will send you a confirmation that you have your application in, and then you just have to wait until it if you're shortlisted then you wait for the interview and if you make it through the interview then uh you are awarded the scholarship now one thing i want to emphasize is this when you fill out this application you're required to unwrite the uh application so it's going to be unwritten and even though it's kind of strange that they make it that way but that's just what they want uh, the other thing is you have about three essays to write one is uh tell us why you think you would enjoy gliding the second one is tell us what you will personally gain from a gliding scholarship. The third one is tell us about one recent time you demonstrated responsibility and or achievement. You see, these three questions are very important. It goes back to competences that we talk about, a lot of competences on this channel. So if you have no flying experience or zero aviation experience, this is a scholarship you should really consider. Of course, if you meet the requirements, age, weight requirements because it's a glider so you have to meet certain weight requirements and again you know you have to be a citizen of the united kingdom or of, of, of uk so you need to be able to qualify for that now let's talk about the 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 um the essays that you have to write maximum 100 words so it's not too long one of the things i recommend is first of all you want to write this out on a maybe word processor by using the word processor, you want to make sure that you make no mistakes. You write it out pretty well. Make sure it doesn't exceed 100 words. Uh, the other thing is, tell us what you think you would enjoy gliding. That's the first one. So one of the things that you want to emphasize here is your passion for flying. In as much as you have, you have zero experience, you want to be able to emphasize it's an opportunity that helps you to achieve that goal. The reason why this is so important is when you have or let's assume that you're shortlisted for this opportunity and you qualify and then you're shortlisted and then you go through this course it makes it easier for you to put in your application for the ones like the speedbird program or the tui program or those other sponsored programs out there because you now have a solid experience and you have your uh, maybe a rating or certificate that shows that you have some experience as a glider uh so one of the things you want to emphasize is tell us why you think you would enjoy gliding. That's really asking a question about your passion right there. Tell us what you will personally gain from a gliding scholarship. What do you think you would gain? Of course, the flight, flying experience is something you would gain. The opportunity to also 
be exposed to more aviation opportunities is something you would gain of course it helps you to also reinforce your desire to pursue a career in aviation you know you want to think about creatively think about your own reasons what you, why you think you would gain what, what you think you would gain from this experience uh the last but not least here tells us about one recent time you demonstrated responsibility and or achievement especially for those of you that are young sometimes it might be very hard to find uh, an experience that meets this requirement but remember think about your school think about your volunteering activities that you've done that is you demonstrating responsibility in a field so it doesn't necessarily have to be a big achievement but if you volunteered or you're volunteering or you will volunteer make sure it's something that you've done that you can get some recommendation for and you can put it on there of course this is a maximum of 50 words um this is something i wanted to share with you guys again i like i mentioned i just want to make sure that you guys are exposed to all those opportunities that will cost you zero pounds or dollars for you know and um you're able to start acquiring some real flying experience. Of course, if you have found value in this one, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new here, welcome. I would love to see you in my next video, so don't forget to subscribe. And of course, if you have any questions about this, I will leave the link in the, in the bottom. So if you have questions about this, you can ask your questions. Of course, this is something that I found and I thought I should share it with you guys that are looking for opportunities in aviation. Don't forget to drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one.